Welcome to the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's July 16, 2021. Remind everyone that we're part of, we, that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct uh, during our sessions. So agenda items I had, open action items, Java 11 is default in our image and pending Docker changes. Aditya, are there any things that you would like to add to the agenda? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and review the items we've got then. So, um, I have the action item still to open a Jenkins enhancement proposal for Java 11 as the standard Docker image. See the Google Doc for the first draft. Uh, I've made a lot of progress. Spent many hours staring at it and trying to understand what what exact steps should be described and why. So. I'll continue work on that today. Uh, then we've got a Docker operating system support JEP and platform selection rules. And I'm delighted to say that the user Saper has, has created the code owners file that implements the idea. So we've already got a, uh, a beginning and the idea and Saper has proposed self as, as maintainer whoops, of the Alma Linux uh, Docker image, which is a, a Red Hat Linux clone, uh, somewhat like oh. CentOS. Oh, okay. We had the addition, oh, any question there, Adita? No, no, no questions. Okay. Then we had plugin installation manager documentation that's in progress. Uh, we need that so we can merge the uh, replacement of install plugins.sh. And we had a topic on refinements for parallelization. Uh, those have been closed in favor of Tim's, Tim Jacomb's work for on Docker Bake. And we're, I'm really very pleased with Docker Bake as a, as a way of doing it. It's, it's working on the controller right now. We've been delivering with it for about a week. The most recent weekly was delivered using it and it builds faster and there are additional improvements in test performance that are pending from Damien Duporto. So nice positive. So uh, this Docker bake is the process which builds Docker image parallelly, right? Is that is the same pull request? Oh. That is correct. Exactly. Yes, you're right. Okay. It does. It does parallel image building, and it does multi-architecture image building. So. Um, AMD 64, ARM 64, PPC 64, and S390X are the initial set that we envision using. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, any other, any other topics or questions on open action items? None from me. Okay, so then let's, I wanted to take just a brief minute and look at the Java 11 as Jenkins default JDK table of contents here, because it, it highlights some of the things that need work and will need our attention. So big portion of the work right now has been on specification on how do we tag, uh, what should we do with new, new, which tag should we add, which tag should we modify, what should the tagging convention be? And the current proposal is to honor the existing tagging conventions in the four different repositories that we have. So we have the controller image is one repository. We have an agent image that is the base for inbound agent and the base for outbound agent. And so the, those images have, e or those Docker, those GitHub repositories each have their own tagging format based on the needs of that image. And my proposal here is let's continue that format 
then we've got a number of issues to review. And now there's a talk. There are different topics here that are standard parts of the Jenkins enhancement proposal process that remind us we need to think about compatibility and about testing and about additional infrastructure, if any, uh, a pro working prototypes, et cetera. So, so these will all be addressed and I should, I expect to have this submitted before we meet again in two weeks. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, document needs review and seeking additional comments, right? Would love to have any reviewers possible. Um, it's, it's my thinking right now, based on what we had discussed in the, in the Jenkins Contributor Summit. And in the Jenkins Contributor Summit, we talked about adding new tags for, doc, for Java 8 and making the existing tags that don't specify a version number prefer use Java 11 instead of Java 8. And so this goes through the exercise of trying to enumerate those, this tag would become this content, this tag would become this content. And, and it's, there's a, there are a lot of changes across many different repositories. Okay, and uh, this naming convention is the one that will follow the explosive naming system that was discussed two weeks ago. Right, right. So it does adds adds the concept of explosive name naming of Docker images so that we have more details more details in the in the in the base docker image in the docker image tags so that if someone if someone wants so tags tags like it might be buster dash jdk 11 dash 2.289.3 or dot two dash um let's see what are some other parts well so that would that would probably be enough to specify it, but that gives operating system, Java version, and uh, Jenkins version. And I actually put together a worksheet trying to enumerate the tagging. Where is my worksheet link? Just a minute. Here it is. The image tagging conventions worksheet is an attempt for me to express the existing tags and what they what semantics they have already inside explicitly inside the tag name like Jenkins version or variant or JDK and which things are implicit in them and and this this attempt I tried to do it for controller for agent for inbound agent and for SSH outbound agent. Perfect. So the idea is making sure that we know which attribute should be in the explosive the an explosive name and which should we we should drop. So for instance, I'm prone right now to drop virtual machine because we've stopped delivering open J9 images even to even to the evaluation location. And therefore, virtual machine, as far as I can tell, is a constant now. It will always be hotspot. Uh, and the operating system is nowhere used. And JDK, like Java, can be run on every operating system. So does that ma uh, make sense to remove it? Well, operating system is quite important because the Docker image is oh, it has the using... same. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> good, good question. A very good question because in this case, it's actually at the utilities provided with the operating system are coming from Alpine. Now, when Docker runs it, it actually runs it on top of the kernel that you're currently using, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't actually come with an Alpine kernel. It just comes with Alpine user land utilities like Git and Git LFS and make those kinds of utilities are all provided by Alpine. Mm -hmm. And and so for me, the I think it's quite important that we have oh that's wrong. I think that's CentOS 8. Huh. Yeah, okay. Living and learning. 
Any any other questions there, Aditya? Yeah, just one. When you were writing Buster Dash JDK, like this whole thing. So, huh? uh, I when you were, uh, am I am I audible? Yes, you sure are. Go ahead. Okay, so you were uh, writing this right, Buster JDK eleven and the Jenkins version. So my question was, uh, does agent controller or like the inbound and outbound outbound controllers they have a different naming system, or we can add a, another tag like hyphen agent or hyphen inbound hyphen outbound to make sure that it is present there itself? So they have a very different naming convention, and I think it's in our to our benefit that they have that different that they've used that different naming convention. So if we look at let's look at the a commonly used one, the inbound agent. It has a version number on its leftmost field that is the version number of Jenkins remoting that is used. Mm -hmm. So 4.9 here is not a Jenkins version, it's the Jenkins remoting library version that, on which this is based. Okay, yeah, then, then it makes sense that we'll keep it this way and not add another tag because the convention, writing convention will give us which kind of uh, Docker image it is. Right, exactly. And well, and, and because the inbound agent image is in a different repository and therefore has a different image, image base name, it becomes very clear that it is that other image form. So likewise, here we see uh -huh. with outbound agents, the version number here is a version number that is assigned based on the contents of the image. And so 2.1.0 is the older image and 3.0.0 is the newer image. Okay. And, but again, those are both independent versions, independent numbers compared to the Jenkins version. And that's, for me, I think that's correct because these agents can be used with any Jenkins controller version that that supports their version of remoting, which means almost all supported Jenkins controller versions. Okay. Yeah, I, I did not know that. So that's why I had the question. Yeah, well, and and this was this was quite quite a quite a learning experience for me to assemble these. Oh, that's those tags are important. People use those, they rely on those. Mm -hmm. Now, what should the meaning of those tags be when we when we make this transition? So 2.301-slim, for instance, will become a JDK 11 image, although right now it's JDK 8. Those kinds of, detecting those kinds of transitions are important. Very good. All right. Any other questions on JD Java 11 as default in all our images? Oh, I've got one item. Yeah, I have no questions. Okay, so the Jenkins LTS baseline version is not yet selected for September. And uh, Mark started the thread, the developer mailing list thread to get the answer. Let me put a link to that in here. So this one, And right now the choices are 2.300, 2.301, 2.302. And each have strengths and weaknesses in terms of, would we choose that one or choose another one? Actually, that's not helping anybody to put that. Let's just take it out. Hey, anything else on Java 11? No. All right, next topic then was pending Docker changes. And here we've got a number of changes that need code review and need people to experiment with them. So if we look at the Docker pull requests for the controller right now, we 
we've got add a multi-arch build, which is this is the work that Tim Jacom has started. We've got pending enable the parallel flag in bats that Tim has started and that is improving. Right now, Damien is dealing with uh, weather emergencies in his in his home home neighborhood in his home area. So, but he's made very good progress, and the user Saper has also been a great help in. So, Marcin Szeslak has also been a great help on investigating, making sure that this runs in multiple platforms and multiple environments. Okay, uh, and I think this is the uh, pull request that actually Damien was asking me if I have Docker installed on my Windows machine to build and test. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I have not done anything to check Windows, so that would be a great help if you could check Windows. Yes, unfortunately, I did not have Docker installed, so I will do it. <laughs> But yeah, well, uh, yeah, it might take some time. I usually use Ubuntu for my Docker builds, so it's easier in Linux. <laughs> uh, yes, it was. It was first written for Linux, so that's not a shock that it's easier in Linux. Yes, absolutely. All right. So the things are there. Other topics there that you would like to discuss, Aditya? Uh, my topic. Really, but I had a question in general about the platform thing. So I actually wanted to know what is the aim of this special interest group and uh, how can I be more uh, active here and participate? So after attending the infra SIGs, I, I actually know what does infra SIG do and how can I help? So similarly is, uh, yeah, I would like to know about platform. Very good. Yeah, so let's look at let's look at what how it describes itself. So this this SIG is a place for platform support discussions, including Java, operating systems, architectures, Docker, packaging, and web containers. So platform support policies, platform support efforts, and more. So what we've done. And if we look at the Jenkins roadmap, we can see um, um, so a number Sorry of to interrupt, Mark. Just one ahead. question over there. When, when you say platform, which platform are we talking about here? Or is it just a, gen, a, a platform is like a variable here for the user's platform? So that that is my question. You described it precisely. A platform in this case is platform is just a description of some component that is typically beneath or, or strongly connected to Jenkins. So Java is a platform component, whether it's Java 8 or Java 11 or Java 17. Uh, the operating system, whether it's OpenBSD or FreeBSD or um, Debian Linux or Mac OS or Windows, it's, it's a part of the platform SIG. Uh, architectures, so RISC V, um, ARM 64, AMD 64, uh, PowerPC 64 are all interesting architectures. Okay. Docker, well, you know Docker images. And so did that address your question, Aditya? Yes, yes. Now, now I have a better understanding of what does the platform signify over here. So initially, uh, the name by the name platform, I thought it, were, it was something like related to Jenkins.io or some other platform like CI.Jenkins.io. So that uh, usually we call those dashboards as platforms, right? So, and in cloud native, we have a platform as a service. So that got me even more confused that, okay, which platform is this thing talking about? Understood, very good question. Yeah, so in this case, it's using platform to describe something on which, something on which Jenkins strongly depends. And, and that could be the Java side, the operating system that it's running on, the Docker image. Those are all platform related things. Yes, now, now it's clear. Great, excellent, thank you. 
Very good. All right. So, and I'm just going to paste a link to this page because I think that helps us, helps remind us. Now, in terms of, I like to look at the roadmap periodically to remind myself what's happening in platform in the roadmap. So if we search here for platform, whoops, it helps if I spell it correctly. Here we go. So Jenkins on cloud platforms has these items, right? Kubernetes operator, Jenkins file runner, cloud events, right. um, Kubernetes more pluggable build results, pluggable storage types, et cetera. Those are cloud platform things. And then if we look at packaging and platform support, you'll see Docker images for Windows, uh, Windows installer, done, Windows support policy, Docker images for System 390, for PowerPC, Open J9, I think actually that's a good one we now need to remove. Let me put a note on that. Mark to remove Open J9 image from the Jenkins roadmap because we're not going to do that one. We've pulled back from it and we'll just use hotspot images. Adopt Open JDK is actually nicely in progress and ARM64, et cetera. So these are all parts of the roadmap and each of these click, each of these links is actually clickable and should take us to a, to a page that highlights what, what the plans are and what the current progress is. Oh, that's really helpful. Okay, so uh, roadmap. And let's let me put that link in there as well, because that way people can find. Hey, here's where we're going. Yes. So and and I need to give myself an action item. Okay. Great. Any other topics that you'd like to bring? None right now. I'm all clear, happy for today. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much, Aditya. Let's go ahead and end the session for today. I'll post the recording later. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Talk to you in two weeks. Yes.